few months ago, you may have noticed that Deseret Book in Ammon closed. Well, there's a new business that just opened up shop in that location. It's called Teton Music. And uh, it's the only dealer in Idaho for a certain brand of pianos. And I'm here talking over Zoom with Spencer Willis, the owner of this store, Teton Music. Spencer, thanks for talking to me today. Thanks, Rhett. I appreciate you having me. So you opened about a month ago. That's right. Yeah, we opened our doors. We had uh, two weeks of clearing out everything from the past tenant and and setting up our shop, but we've been in operation for just over a month. And how has the response been over the last month? It has been great. We've had teachers calling us. We've had a lot of people stopping by and have said, we're so glad to see that there's another uh, music store in town. They are excited about the different options yeah. Provide to the community. Um, and this is a good time of year to be talking about this because Christmas is just a few weeks away. People might have someone that needs a new musical instrument, a new piano, new music, different types of music accessories. Tell me about this brand of pianos that you that you sell, and it's only it's the only dealer for this kind of piano in Idaho. That's correct. So we sell three brands and we are the exclusive dealers for all three. The first is Pearl River, then is Rittmuller. They are a German company that's been around since the late 1700s and then Kaiserberg. So the really great thing about these pianos is they're something for everyone, not only in price range, but also in color, um, uprights and grands. We, we offer them all. What inspired you to, to open up this music store? Well, being born and raised in Idaho Falls, I have always wanted to give back to the community. We started Teton Music in 1999. My wife and I are born and raised. We actually went to rival high schools, um, but didn't let that get between us. And both she and I grew up loving music. Um, both of us are, were in School District 91 in the strings programs and in the choir programs. So we have always had um, a real connection to the community. And as our company has grown, we were able to expand into our current location. We also operate out of um, Salt Lake City, but this is our only piano shop. And so it really provides us a way to give um, to the community in providing not only options, but a really great variety of music and other accessories. Tell me about, because um, you've been involved with music for a long time. How did you get started in music? Well, I come from a family of six kids and mom and dad were very passionate about their kids learning music. So um, each of us, we had a piano upstairs and I recall uh, waking up in the morning, 5.30 and hearing another sibling practicing their, their hand and scales. And it just became part of, of our culture in our home. So all six of us have learned to play the piano Many of us also have learned to play other instruments. So I play the piano, the organ, and I'm a cellist. And probably the one I'm, I'm most proud of is I, I'm also an accordionist. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Um, do you pl play in concerts in the community or anything like that? I have in the past. So my wife and I, um, like I mentioned, we went to school here. Um, we went to college at Ricks College and then at Boise State. I'm also currently singing with the Tabernacle Choir in Salt Lake, and then my wife conducts two symphony orchestras. So um, music is truly in our veins and in our blood. So is your wife involved with the Idaho Falls Symphony Orchestra? She was when she was in the, the youth symphony, but she's currently conducting two symphonies in the Utah area. Oh, got it. Got it. Very cool. So you got your hand in several different things, busy on the business side, but then still pursuing your musical passion. Yes, it's wow. been great to be able to combine the two, my business and marketing acumen with my passion for music. I Do you get to the chance to play the accordion much? <laughs> I do. My uncle <laughs> is actually one who very much led me into things. He has several accordions. And about 10 years ago, my parents bought me one for Christmas, knowing that that was one of the things that I had always had on my list. The other instrument that I still have on my bucket list is to learn to play the bagpipes. So uh, that will, will come at some point. But yeah, I love just playing 
just really simple songs, um, primary songs from our church and, and other things like that that have a chord structure to it. I'll sit and play it. My kids uh, think it's kind of fun to bring their their friends over and and watch their dad play the accordion. Yeah. How very cool. I wish you had your accordion with you. I'd ask you to play something for it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, here you are now, Teton Music in Ammon. Um, what is your long-term vision of this business in Eastern Idaho? Well, we plan to be here for many, many years. Um, part of our cornerstone is we are here to serve the community and to serve educators. Um, everywhere that we have gone, not only as my wife and I have grown and raised our family, but also with this business, is we want to help spread music to uh, really the, the four corners of the earth, so to speak. But here in eastern Idaho, to help make it accessible, to help make it affordable. And, and so we are, are partnering with many of the music academies and with teachers across the, the valley to help see how we can help them and help their students. All right. Well, Spencer, I appreciate your time. Um, anything else you want to add? Just we would love to have you stop by and experience the Teton Music Difference. We are here to serve you. And if you have suggestions um, for, for products or certain brands, we offer everything from um, ukuleles, um, a variety of string instruments and, and the three piano brands that we offer. But we look forward to meeting you and seeing how we can help serve your needs. What are your hours there at the shop? So typically it's 10 to 7. We are closed on Sundays. And uh, yeah, we're, we're there and ready to serve you. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Spencer. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Rhett.